Hey guys, Zach here, back for another video. Um, today, um, this is like kind of like a two-part series, even though it's not really a two-part series. Um, I, I shot a different video, and I was unboxing the iPhone um, 2G, the original one, um, but it was really long. Um, so I thought I'd make like a less detailed one, kind of just like a quick overview of like what's inside of it, and then like just show it, just like um, just like looking at it for a couple of minutes. So I thought I'd do a quick review, um, um, but yeah, here's the box. Okay, so it's like I'm editing the video, and I just realized my video is pretty good, um, pretty good comprehensive, so I've decided that this is just going to be my um, only video. Uh, I did shoot the longer video, but I thought it was just not really like, um, like, I don't know, good. It was kind of just like all over the place. This one I thought was a little bit more organized. And one more thing to mention before I resume the um, scheduled video. Uh, I am really sick um, during this video, so um, excuse that. I, I sound really weird. I even sound really weird right now. But, yeah, enjoy the video. See? You hear that? <laughs> Here's the box and everything. Um, I got the 8 gig uh, model. Um, for $120 off of eBay. So, I've already played with this for a couple of weeks. Well, there's no SIM card, but, um, it still works. Just, you can't make any text. And you can't um, call anyone. You can still go on Safari. You can still go on music. You can still go on YouTube. You can still do all those things. You just can't make calls or texts. Um, but you have some very basic apps that you have. I'll just read them all right now, really quickly. Messages, calendar, photos, camera, YouTube, stocks, maps, weather, voice memos, notes, clocks. <sighs> I said clocks. Calculator, settings, iTunes, App Store, contacts, phone, mail, Safari, iPod, and that is all. Um, so, just the couple of basic few, oh my god, all the things just came out. Just a couple of basic few apps, um, that come with this product. But, um, they are still pretty useful. Um, most of these apps kind of just still work as they used to. Um, let me just take a quick picture. Um, uh, I'll just take it of my camera. Let me just take a um, quick picture of the camera because I know a lot of you probably are wondering about the about the quality of the uh, pictures like the most that's so at least one of the biggest things I was wondering about um, but surprisingly the I know you can't see it very well on the um, camera because it's um you know how screens still show up well on cameras that because it's yeah whatever but it is surprisingly good for um, a nine-year-old phone. I'm not saying it's a good. Um, I'm not saying it's a good camera. It's just that it's not that bad for a nine-year-old camera. Uh, yeah, let me just delete that. It's really, really um, s uh, slow. Like noticeably um, more slower when you open apps and everything. Like, let me just see if I can show you. If I just click on any old app. It takes a lot longer for it to, first of all, the little popping up animation, that takes a while. And then also to load, that takes a while too. Um, there is no app switcher. If you double click, it just brings up the um, the phone app, which I guess was convenient back in the day. But yeah, basically everything works the same as it does now. Um, let me just show you the load speed of the, um, like, searching something up. Just search up, um, I don't know, Subway, I don't know why I thought of Subway, Subway.com, another useful thing, which I think, I, I don't know why they got rid of it, it has a, um, it has a dot .com button on there, so you can just hit dot .com when you're searching up something, but yeah, there, it's loading Subway.com, it is going to take a while, um, so yeah, this is going to take a while. It's took me it takes maybe fifteen seconds I'd say um to load. Uh it's about halfway right now. At there. It's starting to load. There, subway.com. Free advertising. Uh, not a sponsor. Subway. Eat fresh. Alright, uh yeah, but 
it is iOS 3.1.3. That is the software it runs on. You can't change the um, home screen or anything. Um, you can change the lock screen, um, but you can't take your own pictures. You can only use um, the um, set ones. And yeah, it's like the classic slide to unlock thing. And yeah, um, but the basic design of the thing has not changed much. I mean, it has, of course, changed much, but like the basic idea, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you still have the you still have the same buttons. You have the home button, you have the um, sleep wake button, and you have the up down volume rocker and the mute button, and of course the headphone jack and the SIM card. But um, yeah, this phone is pretty uh, beat up, of course, for a nine year old phone. Uh, there's scratches on the Apple logo, and there's also scratches on the body. Um, this is the antenna band, of course. It's black, and that's where the uh, power cord, the 30-pin connector goes in. There's also speakers down here, which, of course, aren't very good. Um, yeah, the phone is 3.5 inches, and, uh, yeah, as I already mentioned, it's um, 8 gigabytes, and, yeah, of storage. That's basically the phone, but yeah, let me just do a quick overview of the um, of all the um, apps really quickly, just to show you. All right, so I'm gonna be speeding up the video a little bit just for the sake of this video. Um, but yeah, you can see here calendar. Uh, you just basically tap on whatever date, enter in what you're doing, and then yeah, you're basically done. So you can see I just typed in a random letter. Yeah, that's um, calendar, and then we can move on to photos. And you just click on camera roll, and you can look at all your photos. It doesn't much more to it. Um, uh, and then YouTube, it, it actually doesn't work anymore. It, the the videos are, I guess, like too new or something. But yeah, it doesn't work. Um, and stocks just tells you the stocks. As you can see, Apple is up today. I think that's what it means. It says green, up eleven point eleven percent. Yay! Good, good for Apple. Congratulations, Apple. Um, yeah, so that's stocks. And then here's maps. Uh, I've already typed in a location, um, just so you can see. Basically, it gives you the directions, and you can scroll through, see where you want to go next. No GPS or anything, just directions. All right, next, uh, we have weather. Just tells you the weather. Uh, nothing much has changed, um, since, uh, since nine years ago. Um, and then voice memos. You just tap, and if you want to record something... Um, then you record it. Um, I did record something here, and I'll let you hear it. You can, you can barely even hear it, because it's, the speaker is so bad. I mean, the microphone is so bad. But, yeah, you probably didn't even hear it. Um, and then notes, uh, just normal notes. Once again, just type in whatever you want. I wrote, I'm using an iPhone 2G. Yeah, so that's notes. Um, clock, once again, normal clock. Start, stop. Um, yeah, that's clocks. You can set alarms and stuff. And calculator, just a normal calculator. Uh, let's see what 9 plus 10 is. And it looks like... Wait, what? 21? Wow, that's amazing. Apple has improved. <laughs> they got it right this time. <laughs> All right. So settings, just pretty normal. Uh, let's check out that wallpaper that I was talking about. So yeah, you can just choose whatever you want, whatever wallpaper you want. See, I said the Mona Lisa wallpaper. And let's just take a look at that. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, but you can just change it whatever you want. And I just realized you can actually put your camera roll in it too. But yeah, this is um, iTunes. And actually when I was trying to um, load it, it wouldn't work. So it was just like buffering, exiting it out, and then try it one more time. But iTunes doesn't really work. Um, I'm assuming it's just. I'm assuming it's just because the um, phone is old. I didn't really try many times. Um, but it might be because I don't know something else. Um, but yeah, that's iTunes. Uh, probably just the same as normal. Then this is the App Store. Um, most of the apps in here you can't even download because they're so old. Um, like the Lorax, which is just the first app I found. Um, if I clicked on it, um, even though I'm not going to pay for it, it says this app requires iOS 8. Um, and obviously I have iOS 3. Anyways, moving on to contacts. I'm not going to go into there because it has some of my family's personal information. 
and then can't really do phone because I have no SIM card, but um, e um, email for some reason doesn't even work. I tried typing it on an email and it didn't accept it, but that's weird. Anyways, um, iPod, um, I don't have any music downloaded, but it would work once again for the final time. And I have YouTube set up as an app, actually, so um, if you want to do that, there's probably tutorials online how to turn sites into apps. But yeah, that is basically all the phone, um, and yeah, so that's kind of just like the basic look at the phone. Alright, so that is uh, all for the actual phone itself. Um, uh, uh, moving on to the accessories. Uh, I don't know if you saw that or anything, but all the accessories fell. Um, I did buy this, um, from off of eBay. So, that means uh, that, um, I'm gonna get some weird stuff in here. Um, most of the stuff I was happy with. What I wasn't happy with is the cradle they gave me, which was the not the correct one, is for the iPhone 3G. You can see that kind of from the design of the cradle. You probably can't tell because you're probably not like such a big Apple fan that you know the curvature of the iPhone 3G. Maybe you are. That's probably why you're watching this video. Never mind, I take that all back. Um, but they gave me the black plastic 3G one instead of the clear um, one for the uh, iPhone 2G. Um, and another thing, which is, um, another complaint, they gave me the iPhone 3G, once again, they gave me the iPhone 3G, um, uh, quick start guy, and they gave me, and they didn't give me any Apple stickers, that, that is the biggest outrage of this whole thing. Of course, um, we have the SIM tool, which, um, is just like a normal SIM tool. Takes a while to put back in there, uh, but yeah, that's all the quick start guide and stuff. They didn't give me any Apple stickers, but Apple stickers are just like normal. I always make such a, I always make a joke that I'm like, no Apple stickers, because like Apple stickers are like the, the thing that all Apple fans are like, Apple stickers, like all every single Apple product comes with Apple stickers. Apple stickers, apple stickers, apple stickers. I love apple stickers. Apple stickers. Apple stickers. Okay, here's the dock. Um, uh, it's a normal dock. Um, just you put in the phone. Just you put in the phone in here, and it plugs in, and it's a nice little fit into there. Then you would take the power cord and you'd plug it in back here, which I'll get you in a while. Um. And it, yeah, it would charge it, it would make your phone look cool and like display it. And this is really useful for me actually because when I'm displaying my phone to my amazing room, which is kind of like a museum, I, I designed my room like a museum to make it look like a museum. Um, yeah, and I really like that like style kind of thing. Anyways, um, enough about me. Um, but yeah, that's just how the dock works. Of course, you can just place it on any surface, like someone's hand, your cousin Joe's hand, who just lives in your room. He doesn't mind as long as you get he gets your food. He doesn't care what you do to him. Yep. All right. Anyways, moving on uh, to the other accessories, we have the ten watt power brick, which is just normal. It opens up, you plug it into a uh, socket, and then you take the 30 pin connector and you plug it into this thing, the USB port, and you plug this in, and then you plug this into the phone, and then it charges, and then you get battery, and then it's amazing because it's battery. And the final thing in here, sorry if I feel like I'm rushing, but I just really want to make a short video. Um, the final thing in here is a uh, headphone connector thing and yeah so that is basically all for the phone so yeah that is basically all for the phone so overall what do I think of the iPhone 2G well I think this phone is amazing for its time without this phone there wouldn't be any future iPhones probably won't be the iPod touch um, but biggest of all 
it would be this amazing, huge Apple fan base. I mean, if you just look at, like, uh, some of the channels, they just love Apple. Apple is, like, the, the one thing that a lot of people just really enjoy and love, and they wait for the new products. Um, yeah. I think it's really revolutionary, really amazing. But yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed um, my iPhone 2G quick review, even though it was a long video, kind of, sort of, 10 minutes long about that. Um, but yeah, iPhone 2G, just look at where we are today. Um, the iPhone 7 is coming out in a couple of months, uh, and I'm hoping for good, a good phone, like a phone that really makes Apple what they are, the innovative, creative company that they are. Um, but yeah, make sure to um, hit that like button if you like the video. Comment down below any of your thoughts, questions, or suggestions for future videos. Um, uh, and check out my other videos, too. I have some uh, reviews of um, Fungo Pops, which I'm a fan of, and I also have some other reviews, too, and other reviews that are coming up, um, and some movies that I'm may might maybe me uh trying out movies seeing if I can do that or if I should just stick with reviews um but yeah if you enjoyed my videos make sure to smash that subscribe button to get all the latest info on when I post a new video and yeah uh that is all and bye bye I think it's definitely worth my hundred twenty dollars <laughs> Mayamo Mr. Senor Bob to You know what knocking means? You mean you knock and you wait for the person to respond. Yo tango knock and come in. Un iPhone says plus.